any roots of, of any equation have symmetric functions okay so symmetric functions of root is something that we will you know study in this video and do certain examples now let let us take any cubic equation and let alpha beta gamma be the roots of this cubic equation then expressions like alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma, uh, gamma square plus gamma square alpha square alpha plus beta beta plus gamma gamma plus alpha the product okay such expressions okay and so on such expressions are such that if any two of these alpha beta gamma okay if i interchange any two like you know i interchange alpha and beta or alpha gamma the these expressions remain unchanged these expressions would not change okay if i write beta square alpha square because i'm interchanging alpha beta plus gamma square it is still alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square and similarly if i have uh, instead of alpha square beta square i have beta square alpha square and uh, alpha square gamma square gamma square beta square so i'm interchanging alpha and beta the expression this the sum remains same right such functions of roots are called symmetric functions symmetric symmetric functions okay now we'll try to find out the values of such functions actually in questions uh, to be done with so that's what is asked a lot of time when you're talking about equations you're asked to find out the sum of uh, you know you're given the roots are this so roots are alpha beta gamma so find out you know what will be alpha square beta square gamma square which you can very well find out within the equation from whatever information you have about the equation so for example let me give you an example example let us take alpha beta gamma are roots of say x cube minus p x square plus q x minus r equals to zero so i have an uh, i have a cubic equation and i have three roots for it so let us try to find out what will be summation find summation alpha square which means basically we are supposed to find alpha square plus uh, beta square plus gamma square which i said is a symmetric function so what do we have from the information we have we have a cubic equation so i know something some things about the sum of the root the product of the root and some of the products right so in a cubic i know that if my equation is x cube minus p x square plus q x minus r then alpha plus beta plus gamma would equal to minus of minus p upon 1 which is basically your minus b by a right so this equals to p so i know that alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to p so that's one information that i have i also have the information that alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha would equal to c by a which is q okay apart from that what else i have i have that the product of the roots will equal to minus d by a which is r minus of minus r upon 1 which is r so this is the information that i have from that i need to find out from that i need to find out to find alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square so probably we could we could do some arithmetic uh, manipulations to find it so let me just square alpha plus beta plus gamma so that will give me alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square plus twice of alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha that's what when you open up this square you will get right so which means that 
P square because the value of alpha plus beta plus gamma is P. So P square equals to alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square plus twice of. Now I have the value for this expression as well which is equal to Q. So that means this will imply that alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square will equal to P square minus 2Q. Okay, and that's what we get from our equation here. So, within the equation, I, I am able to find out this permutation of the roots. Okay, another example. Let's take another example. Now, say I need to find out what is, find alpha square, beta square sum of alpha square beta square basically it means that alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square so that's what i have to figure out now how do we go about it i have the value for alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha i have the value for for this expression let me just square it now because i have to come down to square so let me just square it squaring this what will i get again i will get alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square plus twice of plus twice of alpha square beta gamma plus beta square alpha gamma plus gamma square alpha beta okay so that's what we will get now this means that q square actually equals to the right hand side which is alpha square beta square beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square and plus twice of plus twice of what we can do from here is if you notice that you have alpha beta gamma the product alpha beta gamma comes in each of the expressions so i can take alpha beta gamma as common and what will remain inside is alpha plus beta plus gamma okay that's what will remain inside so that means q square equals to alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square plus twice of now alpha beta gamma i know equals to alpha beta gamma equals to r and alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to p so this will imply this will imply that alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square equals to q square minus 2rp and what we have found out is that again this symmetric relationship also we could figure out the value of this symmetric uh, symmetric function from within the equation itself that's what we can do when we know that we have symmetric function of the roots